you're probably wondering, Jen, why do you look halfway put together and you've got a little makeup on, you've got your hair done kind of cute? Well, it is Monday that I'm filming today's video. It is Labor Day and instead of boot camp this morning, we're actually hiking. So there's about 11 of us from my boot camp group that are going on a hike at Madera Canyon, which is actually near where I'm moving to out in Green Valley. It's so beautiful there. It looks like Washington. It doesn't look like the desert. There's trees. It's lush. It's beautiful. It's green. So we're taking a hike on Mount Baldy. So we're not going all the way to the top because that's about 10 miles. We're doing a portion of that hike for a couple hours this morning. We just thought since it's a holiday, let's get out and let's do something different rather than regular boot camp. So I'm put together a little bit this morning because I do have a coaching call when I get home. And then obviously I'm filming today for my what I eat in a day, but I'm so excited. I have only hiked Madera Canyon once with my friend Melissa. We did have our family pictures there. So if you remember our family pictures, that's actually at Madera Canyon too. It's just so beautiful. So this is a trail that I've never been on. I'm, I'm just excited. I'm excited to do something different for boot camp today rather than just traditional boot camp. I'm headed to the park that we have boot camp at. We're all gonna carpool together because it's about a 40, 30 minute, 30 to 35 minute drive from where we typically do boot camp at the park. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna try to take you guys along with me, get a little bit of footage. Of course, I'll pop in some pictures if we take pictures and things. I did bring my backpack. So I have snacks. I have water. I did have my protein coffee this morning. So I finished that completely. And I just ate two of the Alyssa's cookies, the little oatmeal bites, just for a little bit of carbs, a little bit of fiber, a little bit of protein before I head out on the hike. And I'm going to try to finish my entire Lululemon bottle of water while I'm on this hike, just to make sure that I stay hydrated. It's about 72 degrees right now. So it's going to be a somewhat warm day today. We're still in the nineties, even hitting a hundred, 101. So we got to stay hydrated. We've got to stay fueled. I brought my bug spray, put sunscreen on this morning. I'm just really excited to do something a little different today. So let's go hike Madera Canyon. is amazing it's nice and cool we have a breeze I'm sweaty but this is good it's a steady incline all the way up we're going to what's called Josephine saddle it's about three miles up three miles back it is beautiful here totally reminds me of the Pacific Northwest down it is pretty windy so it's a little bit chilly when I got to the top I took my backpack off and my back is soaking wet with sweat so it's a beautiful morning it's just it was a lot climbing up there it was quite a bit of elevation gain almost 1500 feet going up
10 a.m. and I am finally on my way home from the hike. It took us quite a while. I'll pop up my watch here for you for the final stats of the hike. It was really, really good. Quite a bit of elevation gain, like I said. I burned over a thousand calories. I was a little hot and sweaty for sure, at least going up. It was just a beautiful hike, absolutely beautiful. I tried to show you guys some footage that it's so Pacific Northwest to me, it's so bizarre. I am absolutely starving, but I think when I get home, I'm going to make myself a coffee. I could use a little pick me up and then I'm going to have some lunch, but I will show you what I ate once we got to the stopping point. I bought these, you guys saw these in my grocery haul. These are Ocean Spray Blueberry Crisp Dipped cranberry mix serving of these I shared with everybody so I probably ate literally just a serving which is a quarter of a cup 140 calories and that's all I ate I brought a little tossy granola bar but I didn't eat it I'm definitely ready for some lunch but since it's only 10 I think I'm going to just whip up a coffee and then once I finish my coffee we'll put together a high protein lunch I have definitely not had enough protein today I mean this is just literally a carbohydrate which is great especially for hiking but I'm ready to pump up the protein for the day so let's go home let's have some coffee all right so time for coffee so i have my cold brew as always drag up cold brew my all-time favorite i'll link everything for you my pitcher and the drag up cold brew i'm going to use the coffee mate zero sugar pumpkin spice and i think what's left of my cold foam i've been loving this i'm definitely going to buy a few more flavors you guys have told me that the sweet cream and the salted caramel are really good. I'm definitely a fan of cold foam. I just put it all in a glass. So let me show you how I make my coffee. So I fill it about three quarters full with cold brew. A couple tablespoons of creamer. I usually add just a couple of ice cubes and then top it off with the cold foam. And there it is, absolutely delicious. So we'll sip on this before we make some lunch. Can you guys see little Miss Lola? Oh, here she comes. She's laying out on the grass sunbathing. Well, come on. So we got a new air purifier for our bedroom. This is from the brand Morento. I actually have other Morento air purifiers in my house. We actually have another one that we'll be bringing to our new home, but we wanted something that gave a little bit of white noise at night. We really like having that little bit of white noise. And this one's really cool because this is a smart Wi-Fi air purifier. So you can actually use the app associated with the air purifier to control it from your phone. And you can also control it directly on, on the air purifier as well. So I thought that we could set this up together in our bedroom. We'll test it out today. We'll test it out tonight. It's really nice looking. It's actually pretty good size. It's and it has this really great carry handle, so it makes it really easy to carry it from room to room. So let me take this tape off the back because I can show you guys what the filter looks like. So the filter is here on the back of the air purifier. This is how my other Morento air purifier is as well. So you just take off the back, and then there's your air filter. I buy my replacement filters right off of Amazon. You can also get them on the Morento website. This is a huge one. Look at this filter. It's massive. Yeah, this is huge. What's really cool about these air purifiers is they help with allergies. They also help you just sleep better, breathe better at night. They're really important to have in your house. Like I said, we have several and we love the Morento brand. I have one actually in my kitchen. I have one in my office. I think in our new house, we'll throw one in the guest bedroom as well, just so when guests come over, there's an air purifier. And the filter, like I said, just goes right in the back. So it's very, very easy to replace. I have never replaced the one in our other Morento air purifier so they last a very long time there's even little ribbon tabs here to pull it out pop back on the back piece and that easy so let's get it all set up all right so we're all set up if the light is green that means you have good air quality it turns yellow if it's moderate and red if it's dangerous this little a right here is automatic so it'll actually adjust the fan speed automatically based on your air quality which is really nice that way if you have less than ideal air quality it will automatically sense that and adjust you can adjust the fan speed So that's the loudest. And this is typically what we keep ours on only because like I said, we like the white noise at night. Timer. So there's a one hour timer and you can set this up to 24 hours and that will leave your air purifier on all day. There's also a child lock feature. So if you wanna keep it at, if you wanna make sure your children or pets 
don't turn on or off the air purifier. And then there's also a sleep mode that turns off all lights and all noise. I really love this. This is so nice. Like I said, I like that the fan is a little bit louder. Don't forget it does have a sleep mode so you can turn the lights off, turn the fan off. It is a lot quieter if you do a lesser intense mode, but for us it serves two purposes. We get a nice air purifier that monitors our air quality in real time and we get that little bit of white noise. And it looks really nice. It's very modern, very sleek. Love that there's a carry handle. Highly recommend. I will link it down below. I actually have a discount code for you. They were so nice to offer you a special discount. So I will link it for you, but I cannot recommend the Morento 7566 Wi-Fi portable air purifier enough. So it's time for some lunch and I'm gonna make my unwitch. Now I shared this with you guys and I think last week's what I eat in a day. I've been loving this. Actually a lot of you have reached out and said that you've been making them at home. So I'm making a little different one today than I did last week but I just use romaine lettuce leaves, some type of lettuce leaf boat and that's basically the bread of the unwitch. And since these are smaller I do two little mini sandwiches, so four leaves total. I'm going to use the rest of the turkey that's in here. I'll weigh it out on my food scale. I'm not 100% sure how much is left. And then today I'm using ultra thin mild cheddar cheese slices. I use one slice per unwitch. I add a little bit of light mayo and I'm obsessed with this dill pickle mustard from Trader Joe's. It's so good. And then I'm going to have these Power Crunch Protein Crisps. I talked about these in Sunday's favorites video. If you missed it, I'll link that for you. There is actually more than one serving in the container. So I'm going to have one serving, which is 12 crisps. It's 150 calories and 10 grams of protein. These are really good. They literally remind me of Pringles. They're that good. And I buy these right off of Nutrition. I'll also link Nutrition with a discount. So so let me put together my lunch. I'll show you what I'm having. So here is my lunch. There's my two unwitch sandwiches loaded with cheese and turkey, a little bit of mustard and mayo. And then this, this is what these little protein chips look like. They literally taste just like a Pringle. I love the salt and vinegar flavor. So I'll put all the information for my lunch here on the screen for you. Everybody got nuts around here? <laughs> we are. We're all crazy. Oh yeah, you. Are you the epitome of crazy? Can you not dig up the bed? Daddy's trying to make a bet. Yeah, he's trying to make it. Oh, oh, oh. he just fell off. Palmer, you be careful. You're the craziest French bulldog in the West. Oh, he's gonna dig again. Are you gonna dig? So I picked up a few more things for the new house at TJ Maxx and Ross today. I'm going to try to incorporate anything I buy for the house into videos. And then obviously when we do the big shopping, furniture, decor, all of the big stuff, we'll just vlog that as part of the house vlog. But let me show you what I picked up. So I got this basket. I am on the hunt for as many baskets as I can find for storage. We have a lot of linen cabinets and places for storage. This one, I love it. It was $4.99. I also got some new kitchen towels. Mine are getting pretty trash. So I figure by the time we move, I'll need new kitchen towels. And then I couldn't pass these salt and pepper shakers up. Are these not the cutest things ever? I have quite a bit of Halloween decor over here that new that we'll be putting out a little bit later so I'm going to add the salt and pepper shakers to that. I also found this soap dispenser for either the powder room or the guest bathroom. I love the gray with the black top. You saw the pattern tile floor going in the powder room. This would pair perfectly with that but gray is our aesthetic so it can really go in any room. And then I also got this little kind of marble box with a lid. You could put q-tips in there, really anything you want. It was on clearance for five dollars so I thought that would be cute in one of the bathrooms and then you know that I'm doing all glass jars with the light wood lids in my pantry so I found one with kind of this basket weaved pattern I love it and then I found these two huge ones at TJ Maxx five dollars each and then I found this little one with kind of a bubble glass I really like that too so that's why I'm always on the hunt for the plastic jar or the glass jars with the light wood lids and then I did need a new oil container mine is falling apart. It, the little stopper doesn't stay in it. I'm not going to use this till we move, but I love the stainless steel and glass. And then love this plant. I like that it has a white pot, white, gray, cream, light wood. That's our aesthetic modern farmhouse. So I will absolutely find a place for that. And then I did get some bones for Lola. These crunchy treats have less protein. So that's what I like to get for her. And then I found these meat craver, little soft dog treats for Palmer. So that's another little mini new house haul. 
All right, so for an afternoon snack, I'm going to have this beautiful thing right here. This is my whipped cottage cheese that I made in my meal prep. I will link my meal prep video if you missed it. This is so good. It's basically whipped cottage cheese with vanilla and a little bit of honey, and then I topped it with fresh raspberries, pistachios and then a teaspoon of honey and I mix it all together. It's so good. It is incredibly high in protein, very, very filling. The raspberries add such a good bright flavor to it. It's absolutely delicious. You can add any toppings that you want to the whipped cottage cheese base. So again, if you missed my meal prep on Monday, I'll link it for you, but this is going to be my afternoon snack. What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh. oh I know. Tell Papa, say well. you can't you can out of time about stuff. <laughs> I know, come on, let's go. Palmer, what do you need? Palmer? This is every dang morning. Palmer, do you need a new ball? Okay, your new ball? Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry I asked. Okay, okay. Is this what you want? And we'll give a little, little bone. Here you go, baby. For dinner tonight, I'm making taco pasta salad. I'm so incredibly excited for this. Simple recipe, let me show you what you need. So first you need pasta of your choice. I'm waiting on my fiber gourmet to be delivered, so I picked up the Barilla Protein Plus. Taco seasoning, light French dressing, 96% ground beef, light shredded cheese, a green bell pepper, fresh tomatoes, lettuce, and chips of your choice. I'm using the Quest protein chips. It actually calls for three cups. I just bought one bag. Troy said he wants regular tortilla chips on his, but on mine, I'm going to add the Quest protein chips. So the first thing I'm going to do is cook my ground beef, and I'm bringing a pot of water to a boil so we can cook the pasta. I'm also going to chop up my tomatoes, my green bell pepper, and my lettuce. So to make the pasta, super easy. Like I said, everything's going into one bowl. So here's my pound of ground beef, drained, rinsed with taco seasoning. To the meat, we're adding in our diced up green pepper and our diced up tomatoes. I'm going to give that just a quick mix. Then I'm going to add in my lettuce. Again, give that another stir. Next is two cups of light shredded cheese. I had to transfer to a bigger bowl. I ran out of space. I'm going to add in my cooked pasta. And I like to stir all of this together before I add in the French dressing. And then we're adding the entire container. This recipe actually makes 16 servings. So we're adding in the 15 ounce container of light French dressing. And then we're just going to stir that to coat. Okay, this looks incredible. It smells amazing. I was just thinking this would be perfect for any holiday get together. It makes a lot. Like I said, 16 servings. This is a massive, massive bowl. You're going to add whatever chips you're using on top right before you eat the pasta, otherwise they will get soggy. So I'm going to plate mine up. I'm only going to do half of the bag of the Quest chips. The other half I'll save for another day. Plate up my dinner and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. All right, so here's my dinner. Wow, 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 this looks great. I added some dried cilantro. I don't have any fresh on hand. Actually, I think fresh would be better. You could add sour cream, salsa, avocado, guacamole, I mean, the possibilities are endless, and like I said, this makes a lot. So it's a great family-friendly meal. Love the added protein from the Quest chips. So for dessert tonight, I'm going to have my second protein supplement of the day. I always have two. I had my protein coffee this morning, and then for dessert, I'm having a Built Bar. This is the mint chocolate, I think it is. 
Yeah, mint brownie, 130 calories, 17 grams of protein. The macros on these bars are so good, and this one's my favorite. It literally tastes like a grasshopper brownie. I love it, so I'm going to have that and a couple of the little cutie oranges. I've been trying to eat these up. I love these. They're just such the perfect snack. So this is going to round out my food for the day and be tonight's dessert. So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed hiking with me, spending the day with me. It was a really great active day. I have almost 20,000 steps today. I'm not mad about it. I had some amazing food. I don't have any restriction. I eat whatever sounds good to me, which is what I've done my entire weight loss journey. Don't forget tonight's recipe will be on my website. I'll link it at the top of the description box. Everything I shared with you in today's video, including the Morento air purifier, highly, highly, highly recommend. I can't wait to have my new house air all purified as well. It definitely, like I said, helps with pets, allergies, really, really good to have throughout your home. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!